dear. This is going very badly, isn't it? It certainly doesn't have the makings of a ripping good novel. What happened here? Ah. The charming and delightful Fry twins. Have we met? Mr. Raymond knows everyone. He knows everything about this city. He writes it all up in his books. I'm Henry Raymond, writer of third-rate, lurid stories. Penny dreadfuls, if you will. And this is little Artie. Mr. Raymond takes real murders and makes them so awfully exciting. The guilty always get caught. There's one unfolding just here. Perhaps one of you would like to try your hand in solving it. so delightfully entertaining, don't you? I mean, solving crimes, of course. Finding a solution is exhilarating. I arrived to find the foreman dead, and the lad duly with bloody hands. No one's been able to find the murder weapon and arrest the murderer. Could you sort it out quickly? It's holding up the work. They're a rough bunch, but someone has to keep the kids in line. I just wish the grown-ups would quit fighting each other. me to the ground and give me a kick. I find me work knife under me and grab it. I lift me hands to protect myself and he knocks me out with a punch. Later on I wakes up and the man's lying there, dead. He's my brother. He don't like to work hard, so one of the workers give him a thrashing. I try to stop it and he stops saying fuck and starts hitting me. Come back, the man's lying dead, and there's Dooley holding a knife. Please don't arrest him. I was standing there, having a think, when a fella come at me and give me a thumping. Dooley tries to stop him, and he thrashes Dooley. I run out to find help. should reinterrogate a suspect. That's Dooley's knife, all right. He never lent it to nobody.
no, no, no. Not so quickly. You have indeed solved this murder, according to the facts at hand. However, Artie, what advice would you give? I would encourage you to look beyond the obvious. Beyond surface appearances. Try again. Use your powers to peer more deeply and see what you can discover. Which suspects had the opportunity to kill him? Me and Wilkins was working out here. We heard screaming. Wilkins went to see what it was about and never come back. I went to see for myself, and there he was, dead. I didn't stick around. Somebody might think I'd done it. The strange thing is, Wilkins weren't wearing no bandana when I was talking to him. Only the workmen in the brewery wear bandanas. You should talk to Morris there. Go back and ask about this. Well, I was inside the brewery all day. I wear me bandana in there. Man has to, what with all the smells and fumes. seen this, I should ask more questions. I don't much know who smokes here. Maybe Taylor? Cigarette might be his. weren't wearing no bandana while I was talking to him. Only the workmen in the brewery wear bandanas. You should talk to Morris there. I quit smoking months ago. You know, I saw somebody from the brewery having a smoke this morning. Didn't see who it was, so. Wilkins wasn't the type to beat the children. On the contrary, he was forever getting in fights, trying to stop that sort of thing. The fumes can be a bit much in the brewery. When the men work in there, they wear bandanas. Like I said, I was inside. Didn't get a chance to come out to smoke. Colton left, though. You can talk to him. He's working in the loading area just now. I wonder if someone can tell me more about this. I was having a chat with one of the others when I heard a commotion and ran in there to find Wilkins dead. Poor bloke. Killed by that filthy little bastard that we feed and pay. I don't smoke. Never did. I should be foreman here. Wilkins coddled the boys like a mother hen. He come along and stops me giving the boys a beating. was much more difficult than it initially appeared. 
Well done. Up to the click with you. 